but I like to compete. I love competing, but I just sometimes don't like it when people um, sometimes say that my confidence is, there's nothing wrong with being confident, I don't feel like Literally it. nothing. You got to fight out here. And, you know, I don't remember no one ever making it easy for me. As a matter of fact, it was fucking really difficult. <laughs> Sam. My name is Sean Garrett, a.k.a. The Pen. Uh, I'm a artist, super songwriter, producer, hit maker. And uh, what I love most about myself is the fact that I'm a lover. Um, I'm a student of learning people. And, um, you know, I'm always striving. I feel like I'm a very unselfish person. Um, I like lending my talents to the world, I'm trying to make the world a better place. Look at you, sounded just sounding amazing. That's me. What a guy. That's me. You are so, you you giving me you giving me humility. I didn't. I thought you was gonna come in and be like, yeah, I am this, I am that. Are you know, giving me that the Sean Penn energy. <laughs> you no. Know. We definitely have moments, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, as you know, in our world, in our business, in our, in our culture, sometimes you got to pipe up. They don't understand anything else. Mm. And that's just what it has to be sometimes, you know. <clears throat> but you know. I do. You know? I know it all too well, Sean. All too well. Yeah. How are you, though, for real? Because this has been such a weird time. I see you say you've been working and everything, but... Has your life changed because of how everything is? Yeah, no, most definitely. I mean, we all have been totally affected, um, you know, and, um, you know, I think in all ways um, we've been affected. I think the thing that has come that we all are starting to realize is that we all are the same as much as we thought that we were different. Mm. Uh, I think we're learning a lot about each other. Um, you know, I'm 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 from I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. You know, what I'm saying I'm from Camelton Road, <clears throat> but at the same time, you know, I grew up abroad. You know, I grew up. Oh in, yeah. Grew up in Germany. I grew up in England. I grew up around the world, so I was able to see the world as a young, as a young man um, growing up. But at the same time, I never lost none of that, that urban culture, that urban energy that we um, that we all know. And um, it, it's it's been a it's been a good balance, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing the transition that we had to deal with. Um, being a military brat, I say, you know, I've always uh, sort of dealt with uh, major issues. I would say, you know what I'm saying? Like my dad having to go off to, you know, war, or my dad having to go off to, uh, or us being like told that we're gonna, you know, we we're only gonna be where we're living two more weeks. And we got to leave. You know what I'm saying? My dad may yeah. come up with orders or some shit like that. So I've always been a been the type of person that's um, been used to transitions and sort of trying to be prepared um, for whatever life got to give me. So um, absolutely, it's, it's affected. It's definitely affected my life. Um, right. All lives, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, just keeping God first um, and trying to stay prepared for the next the next issue, the next moment, the next, you know, because if you, if you're mindful of, of what came before us, or if you believe that evolution is real, you know, that life is definitely going to always be about changes and um, okay. you never predict what the, what tomorrow is going to bring. So, and not trying to sound cliche-ish or, you know, having a perfect perspective on life. I think, I think taking life, as it comes to you, is a real uh, way of looking at things. You know, it, it was interesting um, that you said that, like, you kind of, like, expected me to be a bit more, um, I guess some people say I'm cocky, you know, but... I really, I was like, I'm prepared. I'm prepared, prepared for cocky, but I also believe I that's such you a, deserve I, to have a confidence yeah, about I, I, what you've offered. But I, I, I really think, I think that's kind of unfair sometimes like hella unfair 
Huh? Hello, unfair. Hello, unfair. It, it's unfair. Because I just, I feel like I treat everybody with respect, you know, but people want you to embrace their bullshit. Everybody want, you know what I mean? Like, it's like. No, here's the thing, Sean. Uh, people don't have their bullshit. They, you have yours. <laughs> For the people, they'll be like, oh, I don't have any. But that guy? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, oh, you know, it's cool for you to stunt all on the grammar shit. And like, I ain't going to go into it. But got, tell, it tell the people what you got to say. It just be the shit. It just be the bullshit. So I just, the shit just be funny to me. But I don't even, this shit don't bother me at all. It's just, it's just funny though. Like sometimes, you know, when you got to speak to the world, it's just it's just a certain group of people that feel like they just the chosen ones, and they feel like they can say whatever the fuck they want to. And it's like at the end of the day, man, I put my pants on just like you. I really didn't give a fuck before, and I don't give a fuck now. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I give a fuck about I give a fuck about my 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 people. I give a fuck about respecting people who respect me, but I definitely don't give a fuck about nobody who coming for me. And like you think you gonna fucking like stun on me like? Like, I've been doing what I've been doing my whole life. I ain't just because I met you didn't mean I was motherfucking needed you to become me because you didn't need me to become you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was a beautiful thing that we were blessed to be in the same zone at the same time, whether it be somebody I'm competing with or it be somebody that I'm working with. You know, I just like, I love people. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, we so kind of, we just so condescending. We beat our, we beat each other up. We bring each other down um, just to make ourselves look better. But then at the same time, we want to talk unification and we want to talk, you know, um, respect. Um, well, or we want, we want the opposition to respect us, but we are here really getting jobs and only hiring our clique. That's fucking racism too, honestly. So I just think that we got to be wiser people um, when it comes to loving our own. And you know, every time you make a movie, take and, and, and take this and take this. Um, we all should take this as a um, um, an important piece. Every move you make when you become quote unquote somebody, everybody's fucking watching. Everybody's watching. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you might think that you. <clears throat> I'll just say this, we all gonna be held responsible for our actions, you know what I'm saying? And so I like to compete, I love competing, but I just sometimes don't like it when people um, sometimes say that my confidence is, there's nothing wrong with being confident, I don't feel like. Literally it. nothing. You gotta fight out here and you know, I don't remember no one ever making it easy for me. As a matter of fact, it was fucking really difficult. <laughs> Talk but about it. I'm, I'm, it's just, it was hard. It, it, it's never been easy. And I have not one thing to complain about. I've just mm -hmm. seen people change overnight. I've seen some of the same people that you see that you gave your heart to and gave your love to and gave everything you could to help them get to another place because you already knew, you know, some of us, some of us can see the future. Some of us been here already. Some of us know mm -hmm. that I can give up all of myself and I will be completely fine. I will give up all of myself to help you become whoever you need to become because God has already shown me that I'm very special and I can I got more to give and more to lend. So I'm very content with myself, you know what I mean? And everybody don't have that same confidence and that confidence can somehow come off in a way. But when you can see, when you can see, when you have vision, when you have insight, when you don't need someone to stamp you, like... I don't, I'm just as content as I was the day I got here. You know what I'm saying? And I love all of the new things. I'm working with a great deal of new artists. And um, I just feel like it feels like 04 to me. It's just like, it's a system. And the system is just playing back into my hand, honestly, to be able to be as giving and creative and, and surprising. I like surprising people too. I love the idea of surprising people. I feel like we've, getting in, we've gotten into a place where we have given so much away for free and we continue to give away for free and then we get upset that someone takes it mm. <laughs> you be saying mouthful Sean Garrett I, I just feel like first of all it is nice to see you 
Thank you. And it's nice to meet you. Okay. I am, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, it's hard to be in this world and not of it. Um, and it's really not an easy road. And it's, it's awesome to see like, it pays off, but it, that also doesn't matter. For you? Yeah, it doesn't. It never like I, you know, I've I've been, I, and you know, like I, I've come from very humble beginnings. But you would have never known, because my mother never taught me to view, uh, you know, my existence based on what I'm driving or what I'm wearing or where, you know, my I'm, my happiness is inside. You know, I'm happy. Yes. Oh, yes. I've been happy. You know, what I'm saying I stay happy. So sometimes your 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 energy exudes. And some people don't come, they're not cut from that space. So they feel like they have to, and it's, you know, it's so apparent when you see it. It's like, hey, you know, it's okay. People be like, yeah, you know, and I'm like, it's okay. It's, it's cool. Right. You see what I'm, you see, yeah, I see it. It's good. It's great. Right. Because at the end of the day, you know, there's so many young people and young kids who really want the information, who want to be like you, who want to be like me, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's different parts of us that um, we should feel obligated to show them and give them, right? And, you know, I think sometimes um, some of us just don't want to do that. Some of us don't feel like it's... Mm -hmm. It's not worthy. But I did want to go into the competition because you kind of helped jumpstart mm. what has now become a culture phenomenon. Mm. Like complete from technology, from black culture, music culture. Like it is, it's, it's, versus is a thing now. Welcome everybody. My nigga Dream is, um. But tell him you about to smack my ass around, Sean. Tell him. Um, let me let me finish my speech. Drink. Yeah, this nigga got a speech. Uh -huh. hey, hey, could you write me a speech? Um, how does that feel? Also, because what an unfair battle. You know how unfair. <laughs> how unfair anybody like there? I'm just like, well, who would battle you, and it would be fair. But we'll we'll get into that too. But talk about a little bit about that, like how you and the dream came together, and that started. Well, what is your perspective? Well, hold on, what did that mean when you said it was an unfair battle? Can you, can you tell me? I think that you have so many weapons. <laughs> Just so many weapons that span so many years. The dream is amazing. But I just don't think that it's an equal battle. Can you tell, can you really tell them that? Can you really like, <laughs> like can you really? I, well, can, I don't think I'm that, the only it, person that feels that way. But you know, um, what, you know, like, like, like really like. The dream is amazing. You know, I feel like our battle was definitely entertaining. And it was, um, it was very competitive. And that's what versus really came off to us as being. It didn't come off to us as being some celebration. That wasn't what the fuck that was on. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. Oh, you, you was really going for the competition. I mean, because it wasn't even presented to us like that. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, yo, it's really, yo, this is versus. This is that shit. This is about putting your, putting your, putting your, putting your work on the line. Like this is a, this is a, um, you know, this is that, this is that moment that you, you know, you, we, 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 we really. We reconnect with the fans. We reconnect with the consumers. We really, at this time that we don't even know what's going to happen and where we're going to be tomorrow, this could be the end of the world. But at this moment, we want to remind people of, of our heart and soul and what we contributed to the game, you know? And mm -hmm. that's how, that's, um, and so that's how I looked at it. And I mean, single handedly, like, I'm like, yo, dog, y'all really, y'all really, y'all really want this, but this is this what I, I'm with it. I'm with all that. And then I think the thing that was a little, what just ticked me off was just the fact that what, you know, Dream was saying, like, yo, he the coach. And I'm like, are you, are you fucking serious, cuz? Like, have you, you, can you even count? Can you count? But I'm just saying, like, I'm a wolf. I'm just a and you're ready for a competition. I'm with all that, you know, because we that's what we do is our blood, sweat, and tears. Everybody want to talk about taking care of their family, family first, 
you know, like, you know, if it would come on, dog. But then you're going to disrespect something. Like, really? And it wasn't no disrespect. Don't get me wrong. But I just felt like, let's just call a spade a spade. I just wanted to play fair and give him an opportunity to play something. Are y'all really going to tell me that the shit he was playing was the motherfucking shit? Are y'all going to? Like he ran out of probably after he played his first five hands and he was losing rip. <laughs> <laughs> you in, all fair, in all fairness, it's all good. I'm just I'm a different. It type. was a good time. It was. Still. It was a great time. I love Dream. I do. I really do. I really like that guy. I really like the Dream. Yeah, he I like a lot of fun. Yeah, he a lot of fun. He's totally a different type of guy, you know, and. We hella talented, obviously. Hella talented. Hella talented. We just have y'all done anything? Have y'all collaborated any anyway? Um, <clears throat> no, we we I don't think we've ever worked together um together in the same room. Nah. I don't think we've ever done Would that. Would you ever do that? Like create together, write together? Yeah. Yeah. Whose like, game is someone that you that you admire or find like intriguing? Um, or do you, or is it like that with songwriters? Are y'all like? Yeah, I mean, listen, this shit is just like. To be honest with you, Danielle, this is just like, it's like playing basketball. It's like it's like the NBA. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, it's hard as hell to write smart. Yo, this shit is hard. It's not easy. You have to have <laughs> a true, Mac. You have to have a true blessed gift to do it, especially do it at that level and to do yeah. it that. Consistently, and to do it, at, it's just it's different um, because it's basically your personality being able to take step outside of yourself and become another person mm -hmm. and hit it nail on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got to inspire these people as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm an artist myself, and imagine you being yourself and somebody telling you, "Hey, put you down for a minute. Put put Danielle down." And and, and, and and write that for them. And, and, and do this for me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ego ain't even that today. And people so selfish. They would, you know what I'm saying? They would never. <clears throat> so you ain't never did that. Be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna keep, this is really good. I'm gonna keep <laughs> nah. I mean, this is. I'm gonna keep this one, guys. <laughs> I mean, Sorry, I, have, I, I will say, like, I, like sometimes, I, you know, I always look at it like God's just going to do what he's going to do. What's for you is just for you. I just, that's just how I look at shit. That and, is and, the mantra. And do I sometimes look at things like, damn, that song crazy. Oh, I should have, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'd be like, you know, if it's, if God wanted to go there, it's going to go there. You know what I mean? I mean, it's I'm, not like you're not getting yours anyway. Like you're the, you're the writer. Yeah. Yeah, like it's exactly. Before you get out of here, I have a few more questions. I definitely want to ask you because you mentioned in one of your uh, responses, you mentioned the idea of stepping outside of yourself and stepping yeah. into this other person to write for them. Yeah. Um, and dropping your ego, which is like, okay, black man, you better you better know what it takes. Um, but I'm curious because we have such fragile ideals around masculinity especially in the black community to where even uh who was it um i think it was little yachty who wrote for the city girls and everybody was like what songwriters can do whatever right so why is it that there's this level of like not confusion maybe just hesitation or just feeling like masculinity is challenged by doing, being, having the ability to do that. Uh, you know, I look at a motherfucker, but I wish a motherfucker would. There's no challenge to my masculinity because you know I'm a very strong, very strong masculine man. Um, but at the same time, you know, I love women. <clears throat> my mom got eight sisters. You know, um, I can't. I'm not afraid to say that. Like. Growing up around my family, like, you know, I've always, like, saw my aunts going through bullshit with, with men. You know what I'm saying? Like, having struggles, like, struggling. I saw, so I, me growing up, I just always saw women struggling with emotional issues of, you know, cheating, 
um, the disrespect, being sexualized. So I always speak from a perspective that as a child, I always wanted to tell a story from my eyes as a man wishing what could what could be for a woman. So that's why I've always written songs so that were very like self-empowering records. You know what I mean? All most of all the records I did, even even goodies was very self female empowering for a young girl. You know what I mean? I know you I know you I know you like the goodies. I know you thought about it, got you all hot and bothered. Nice. But if you're looking for the goodies, keep on looking because they stay in the jar. You know what I mean? Yeah, we knew. And so that's the perspective even from like my little sister. Like I don't want no old nigga fuck on my my sister. You know what I'm saying? If you know if not my underage sister, like not like my 16-year-old sister, not like my 15-year-old, 17-year-old sister, or or even like Chris, run it and give me that and ain't no way. Wall to wall. Like to me, Chris was like young Michael. And so that was like a young me. Like, so I could tell that story easily. Like, I'm very imaginative and I'm a I'm Pisces, I'm a dreamer. So I dream, you know what I'm saying? And my dream, my mother taught me just dreaming is okay. Like a lot of us wasn't taught that dreaming was okay. We're just, We're, now, yeah. oh, what's weird is just like, it's like people just now realize, it almost seems like black people just now recognizing that it's okay to dream. You uh -huh. know, like, oh, oh, we needed Oprah to tell us it's okay to dream. Like it was so far in between, like, okay, we got Oprah, we got Michael Jordan, we have, you know, court, you know, Beyonce, we have, you know, Jay-Z, we have a lot of, you know, amazing, you know, idea of Barack Obama, you know, or or Michelle Obama. We have these people to look at now, but I was always taught that it was okay to dream. It's okay, like, it was okay to love, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to, like, it's okay to treat somebody with respect. Like, I right. just thought that. So, I didn't, I never, it wasn't that complicated for me. To, it's not, it's never that complicated for me to have a perspective from a female's, uh, for me to speak on a female's perspective because I was raised, raised by a great female. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I didn't have a great female in my life, who I love my mother totally, and totally respect her and respected her guidelines. You know what I'm saying? She had guidelines. Right. So she stood for something. You know what I'm saying? And like, when you watch these type of women carry themselves in the type of way, a woman, real woman, supposed to carry themselves. Shit, you can talk on that, cause you know what I'm saying. You, I, I, I got, I, I have someone that can testify. You feel what I'm saying? Like, she can tell you she used to beat my ass if I got out. Of line. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't finna sit here and say talk no crazy shit to my mom. She wasn't even about to have it. You know, what Listen. I'm saying? on no level. So it's a lot of bullshit going on today that people just don't want to be real about, right? And so I think again, it's just everybody got an opinion. They have an opinion and everybody want to say some shit. So yeah, I just look at a little Yachty being talented as hell. You know what I mean? To be able to, to pin that, that shit is hard. If you can do it, you do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, um, it's, it's a really great song. It's a great job. And it works. <laughs> yeah. And same for you for all the, the feminine songs that you pin and, the, and the, the intention behind it. And I'm also curious. I see that, you, okay, you wouldn't want that for your kid. You wouldn't want that for your little sister. But were you embodying those different qualities as a young man? Like the things that you saw your family going through? Did you embody the different? Absolutely. You know, I mean, y'all know me. I mean, y'all know me as, as public as you can. I'm not really known to be one of those people who are, you know. Now, do I talk shit? Hell yeah, I talk shit. Do I like, you know, do I like me? A, I like a freaky girl. But do you handle women well? I feel like I do. I feel like I, I feel like I, I totally have the utmost respect for women. Um, but at the same time, I'm a fucking young nigga who like to talk that shit. You know what I mean? So I might say, I may say something that I'm not perfect. I'll definitely tell you that. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not, not asking you to be. I just want to know how you handle women. Do you I, I treat us with care? I definitely think I do. I think okay. I I'm, I'm I'm definitely a person who loves hard. I'm a lover first, you know what I'm saying? You can ask some of the girls that date, I guess. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think a lot of times girls have been a little pissed off with me. Well, we do that anyway. Like, we, we're going to do so that. We happen to break <laughs> up some shit like that because, you know, 
I'm very careful sometimes. I think sometimes I'm too careful. And that and girls don't like that. And they be ready to move forward. And they be like, well, why the fuck couldn't we do this and do that? And I'm just like, you know, shit. Let's just let let's just let things be what they are and let and let let it bloom. You know what I'm saying? I just don't I, I'm I'm a person I take it I take it day by day. Logically that makes sense. Yeah. But you know, we <laughs> But we at the like, same oh, time God, he is this, he is bad, he's so different. I love him. This is it. <laughs> I mean, you know what? And I've gotten that quite a few times and then I've ruined that at the same time because I've been probably I, I think maybe I've waited a little too long, you know. But it's hard, man. It's hard. Because that's you over there being cautious. I know. Man. But it's not unwarranted. I get it. I get it. That like commit I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm terrified of commitment. So I'll be like, man. okay, thanks. It is. I'll be trying my best, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let you know, me get out of here. I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. You know what I mean? I'm trying Same. To I get you. I'm trying to get better, but you know it's a lot. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Because, you know, you, you come with a lot, so you can't just be throwing that around to just any old body. And you I'm give me a sign, boo-boo, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to stick around to question that. You know, and I'm going <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm to give it to you, you know what I mean? So, you know. Done that before. Didn't pan out for me. Yeah. So, I'm not going to stick around to make to have you make me look crazy out here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard, man, you know. But I, especially, especially when you're dealing with somebody like myself, I like to give it to you, you know, so I ain't really like, you know, I like good times, I like good love, I like good sex, I like Let me find out. Show, you know, I like it. I can see a Sean Garrett date being like, we find out, you'd be like, what? I don't have anything. You don't, you don't need it. That's possible. I see that, and that's why the girls are like, I'm never leaving. <laughs> I like to be spontaneous and try to do things that are just like, you know, very different sometimes. And then sometimes I like to be just very normal. You know what I mean? I like doing shit like going to the movies. I like that. Like just doing some cool shit. I like to, you know, just go eat good food, talk, you know, watch a good movie and shit. Then sometimes I like to do some super cool stretch out shit, like go somewhere that most people can't go. Speaking my language, Sean Garrett, we'll talk. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Tell me with the last minute that we have left because I just got the notification. Yeah. What is going on? What are you working on? Why are you in the studio? Man, there's so much going on, you know, finishing up the album. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play you a little snippet of uh, one of the singles, you know what I'm saying, with my man. Um, All right. I can't even tell y'all who the feature is. Damn. You can't share that. We got one minute. Don't uh, let them cut you off. I'll play you a little bit of it. It's a little, it's a little sexy, so might be too much for your ears. Thank you so much, Danielle. Really, 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 really great to meet you as well. And we're going to get together a lot. We'll do it again. We're going to do that, man. Mm -hmm.